Tensions run high in Kailicha on the Cape Flats as backyard dwellers clashed with police over illegal land grabs in the area for a second day running. Police fired stun grenades to disperse the crowd that tried to stop law enforcers from destroying their structures. The city of Cape Town has obtained a number of interdicts to prevent the ongoing illegal occupation of land in the area. The councillor said to us this land is for Ipekiadas, but now he doesn't want us to put Iwoki's head. So now we just want the land that he's saying is for Ipekiadas to put our shed so that everyone can have a place here in this land. Ah. Have you ever taken a taxi from a town to a Kailicha as you go down? The atmosphere is young, what's in the castle to look at the Kapeluba con twinza to a Lamacha and Baboni Subita Kia Strakli. She should be traced before apartheid to slavery to when Ingamla refused to say a place not a key. It's also a mystery, Balum Shababa to Tanzan, and then they created the castle and emptied your colonial. They never saw blacks as to cross to Ongamla. They built the townships. Let's play Munga Bongwa and Castles Kutus, the Castles Bonita, the Bulalan, Kobisa Valinzi, Madame. to inspire these kids. Tonight we focus on the Kailicha killings and the commission of inquiry that has been set up to investigate the high crime levels in this area called the murder capital of South Africa. The community of Kailicha and civil society have laid the blame on two factors for their predicament. The lack of adequate police resources and the police indifference in responding to their concerns. The situation is further aggravated by the dire social-economic conditions which are prevalent in this vast community.